previously on Lone Wolf. What are you doing here? How is that possible? I killed you. I came to collect what's mine, and you can try kill me again. But you'll never know if I'm the original or just a copy. We're gonna find a way to bring him home, okay? This is Anthony, my son. Where is the child's mother? Where's your wife? There's no wife. I think you got it all wrong, my son. His mother is a werewolf, and she has a mate. I don't want you to be alone when I'm gone. I was everything, but spoiled by you. My mother died when she gave birth, and I grew up alone. Let's go home, Anthony. Goodbye, father. Now Gus is never alone. Lola is always around him. She loves her dog, but it was bedtime and Daddy Wade came to put her to sleep. Didn't your mom put you to bed, young man? Right. <laughs> Time to sleep. I need to find your sister again. Good night, Luke. The girl was outside wrecking the snowman. She's proud of her work. Gus is always watching them. He's constantly exhausted because he feels like he needs to watch their every move. Lola found him. She babbles a lot to him. Just like her father is always having conversations with Gus. He's always paying attention. Wade is working out a lot lately. He can't do magic, but he can fight Blaze. He's gonna find him. He has a plan. Wait takes his time with his best friend. Gus, I have a plan. I'm gonna bring Anthony back. The witches have a place called Realm of Magic. When Olivia told me about this the other day, I had no idea what it was and I went to look for it. Did you know werewolves came from them, and also vampires? It's insane, right? It blew my mind, Gus. Blaze is gonna be there. I'm sure he will. His family is something there. I don't remember what Olivia said. But I think I'm gonna find him there. After the holiday, I'm gonna go there. It's our secret, okay? What he doesn't know is that Olivia was listening everything. All werewolves have a great hearing, but because of her temperament, hers it's even better than the others. And now she has a plan. She's gonna leave tonight. When everyone is distracted by the New Year's Eve, Babe, what do you think of calling our friends to celebrate the new year? Wade was happy to see her trying to move on with her life. Of course, babe. I'm gonna call Babs and my dad, maybe Celine. You call your pack. Yes, ma'am. Wade placed a kiss on her cheek tenderly. I think we need some fun after everything we've been through. I think you're right. I'm gonna take a bath before they arrive. While Wade was busy bathing himself. Gus, I heard everything you and Wade talk. I'm gonna leave tonight and you're going with me. I know he's your best friend and you don't want to betray him, but I think if he notices that I'm gone, if I'm with you, he's gonna feel less tense. Olivia was talking to a random person. She was going to rampage any time now. Wade saw it and went to talk to her. Olivia, take a deep breath, focus on me, on our kids. Come back to me, babe. Can you understand what I'm saying? I'm not stupid, Wade. Okay, then focus on your breathing and in me. Olivia took a deep breath. It worked, Wade. Thank you. I'm glad you're feeling better. Luke wanted to give his mother a hug. Almost the whole family was there. Lola was taking a nap. Olivia prepared a meal for her guests. She was pretending everything was normal. The guests were arriving. Are you making more food, Wade? I called my pack. Have you ever seen the meeting? Especially Luke. Yeah, you're right. Hello, folks. The best wolf in town has arrived. What's up, dude? What's up, man? I need to talk to you. Me too. Rory isn't going there. She's still pissed at Wade. She knew that she couldn't stop Lou from going. But she did it to Julian. While Olivia was inside having her dinner, the boys changed their clothes because it was cold outside. Wade told Lou about his plan to go to the realm alone, not alone. 
He wanted Lou to go with him, maybe talk to Julian as well. Do you think is it a good idea to leave Olivia out of this? It's her child. I don't know what he's capable of, Lou, if he takes her from me. I'll never recover from this. She's my mate. I know, man. Well, tomorrow we talk to Julian. I'm sure he's gonna help. He's like, your fan, or something. <laughs> he isn't. I'm telling you, dude. And what did you want to talk about? Meh, not important. Let's focus on bring Anthony back. Babs, I need to leave now. Please, will you cover for me, right? Yes, of course, Liv. Thank you. Are you sure he's gonna try anything with you, Liv? Yes, Babs, I'm sure. He was very polite when we talked once. Just the two of us. Then go. Before I change my mind and tell Wade and Lou about this insane plan of yours. After a few minutes walking through Moonwood Mills Forest, she arrived at Glimmerbrook. This is how the occult cities are separated by forest. At the beginning she was feeling lost, looking for a portal to the realm, but she finally saw something that resembled her to a door. A magical door. I think I found it. Gus was looking at her in a way as if he was going to say, Let's get out of here and wait for Wade. Let's go boy. Let's find Blaze and bring Anthony back. They stared at the portal for a few minutes. Gus, I have a good feeling about this. <laughs> Let's go Gus. This is the portal, Gus. I'm going in. You follow me, okay? And Gus followed her. He couldn't leave her alone. Gus, look at this. This is the magic realm. It's so beautiful. She was in awe. She'd never seen a place like this before. She was so focused at looking at the building. She didn't notice who just arrived through the portal. But at the same time he noticed her, her scent. He teleported to the building. What is she doing here? Is she really alone or that disgusting dog is with her? Of course, she's here to take Anthony back. What should you do, Blaze? Think. If the outside of the building amazed her, the inside was perfection. But she needed to find him. She needs to talk to him. Meanwhile, Gus is outside resting after a long walk, but his ears are paying attention on what's happening inside. Hey, can you help me find someone? What brings a werewolf to the realm? I need to find someone called Blaze Grover. Hum, I know him. And can you tell me why you need to find him? This is between Blaze and I. Sorry, I can't help. You see, Blaze is like my little brother. His father taught me everything he knows. I helped Blaze. I won't lead a werewolf to my brother. Then you know he has a son. Anthony is my son too. I just want to talk to him. Interesting. The girl Blaze fell in love is a werewolf. Excuse me, what? What? Nothing. Well, I know he's here. You can try to find. But Blaze had enough of them talking about him. Speaking about the devil, what are you doing here? Be polite to her, Blaze. She's a sweetheart. I see why you liked her. Morgan, you know I don't like anyone besides myself. Olivia, if you came here because you want Anthony back, forget it. You two should go to a private place, Blaze. There are so many spellcasters here right now. Someone can report to your father. Come here, Olivia. Gus is now inside the building. He's not happy. Take my hand, I won't bite. I'm not a dog like you. She took his hand hesitantly. Come on, Olivia. I promise I won't do anything questionable. You promised. He pulled her closer. She gasped. Blaze. Don't worry and hold tight. I'm gonna teleport us. And just like that, they vanished. <laughs> Gus is worried about Olivia. Blaze teleported them to the greenhouse. They sat on the ground to talk. Olivia, you're wasting your time here. We made a bargain. He wasn't yours to keep. Why you took so long to show up then? You made me love him to take away from me. Why? I don't know, Olivia. 
I'm a bad person. Maybe I wanted to see you and your mate suffering. I don't believe this farce, Blaze. Just tell me why. Because if I tell you, you're going to have the slightest pity of me. And I hate when people feel like that about me. I won't. I promise. I hate you. I prefer hate than pity. Well, my mother died when she was giving birth to me. I grew up without my mother's love and also my father's. Oh, Blaze. Olivia, only hate. Yes, of course. The only time my father was with me was when he brought me here, and I grew fond of this place. At first, I hated the relic because it took my father from me. But every time I was at the library, I practice a new spell. And after that, I promised I would never rely on people to be happy. I didn't want a family. My father started to push me to have one. I always fled as soon as he talked about it. But then, I was curious about Moonwood Mill. I went to that bar and when I saw you, your smile. I knew I needed you in my life. You can call it whatever you want. Love at first sight. I saw you with him. I knew I had to act fast. I had a potion on my pocket. I put it in my mouth and I kissed you. But the potion didn't work. Because you were fated to him, I suppose. When your friend died, I saw a chance to have you and to give my father what he wanted. I really thought my plan would work. Even with your mate running after me, if I had you, I wouldn't care, Olivia. I would leave everything to run with you from him. I wouldn't care if I couldn't be the next sage. Blaze, I didn't know you had such a strong feelings about me. It's okay, now I know why. But answering your question, I actually went to your house as soon as I felt Anthony was born. But I saw that you asked him to turn you, because you were afraid of me. That broke me, Olivia. In my mind, you would leave him to be with me as soon as you'd see him in your arms. But a mate's bond is strong. I can't compete with that, even if I was the powerful spellcaster here. I'm sorry, Blaze. I'm sure you're gonna find someone else. But why did you finally decide to take him from us? He's a spellcaster, Olivia. He's gonna need training, and my father was pressuring me a lot lately. I found out he's sick, and soon I'm gonna be the sage. He wants me to have a family and not being alone. That's sweet of him. If you say so. This place is so beautiful, Blaze. The air is nice too. It's quiet and peaceful. Yes, that's why I couldn't hate it in here. Just the moon bothers me a little. But it's funny how I'm not turning right now. Werewolves came from mooncasters. The spellcasters that studied the moon and decided to stop vampires to kill people. So, in here, you're safe from your beast form. Here, you only transform at your own will, but don't tell the other wolves. I don't want them here. How do you know so much? I told you, I spent my childhood in a library, and I'm gonna allow you to see Anthony. Are you serious right now? Don't mess with me, Blaze. I'm serious, but you'll come here alone. I don't want him calling another male daddy. He has a father, and it's me. Wade won't like it. Like it or not, Anthony is like a son to him. I know, but Anthony's world is different from yours. The first wolf was a spellcaster, but you and your mate aren't. If you really want him to be your son, that's my condition. Wade's gonna hunt you everywhere, you and your duplicates. I am good at vanishing and leave no trace. You and him thought I was dead for a year. I'm not worried. But I found you. Only because I wanted you to find me. Fine, we have a deal. Should we shake hands or what? But Olivia ran to him and hugged him tight. Thank you, Blaze. I'll deal with Wade. Blaze's heart racing. That's why he likes her. She has a sweet soul. Please keep him on a leash. Blaze teleported her back and she was looking for Gus. Hi, Gus. I'm sorry if it took so long. I'm sorry if I worried you. Now, let's go home before Wade gets mad. The first thing Gus did when he came back home was playing in the water. Wade was waiting for her. He missed work. A werewolf after the bond is made can't live without their mate. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. Is that all you have to say? Wade, don't be like that. Are you insane, Olivia? You went after him alone. I wasn't alone. I was with Gus. Olivia, I thought the worst that he would kill you or kidnap you. Don't be so dramatic, Wade. Dramatic, I'm not. 
When I realized you weren't coming back I lost my shit, Liv. I'm sorry babe, but now I made a deal with him. The fuck Olivia, another deal. It's not like that, he's gonna allow me to see Anthony often. The bad news is that he doesn't want you near Anthony. I can't accept that, Anthony is my son. But that's what we have for now, or it's like that or he won't let me get near my son. Liv, come on. Do this for me, babe. I know it's not fair to you, you love that boy, but maybe things will change. I highly doubt that. Wade pulled her into his arms. Don't do it ever again. I can ask you the same. I heard you and Gus. Oh shit. Yeah, no more secrets. Okay babe, no more secrets.